Okay, this is a little video of uh, Scum VM uh, ECS, uh, which is uh, an updated port uh, that I've just released. Um, this this was first released or last released about ten years ago, uh, actually, uh, which makes me feel kind of old. Um, <laughs> anyway, so this this new version is based on uh, Scum VM 1.4 one. Uh, the old one was 1.2 uh, one, I think. Um, now this is called Scum BM ECS, uh, but it's actually um, it'll actually work on any Amiga uh, with uh, extra half bright uh, support, which is which is most Amigas apparently. Um, you just need uh, um, an O2O or better um, and some fast RAM. I'm not sure exactly how much fast RAM. Um, I'm saying um, 32 meg is the minimum, but it might be it might be less than that. Um, so anyway, so it, it, this is a cut, uh, cut down version, uh, obviously to run on a lot of power machines. So it doesn't have many features, um, things like, um, um, aspect ratio, uh, correction and, um, the, the scalers are all disabled. Now, because this is, um, if, if you run this on a lower powered machine, um, you, you really need to be using, um, um, external MIDI um, using the Amiga, um, the Commodore Cam driver. Um, so, if you don't have a real uh, MT32 or or um, something like that, then there are other ways of um, yeah, using like a Windows machine to, to do this. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's highly recommended. If you try and use um, Adlib. Um, or Sound Blaster emulation is going to really be slow. So yeah, as you can see, this is um, also up to use uh, General MIDI. Um, uh, this version also supports more games. So if you run something like, um, if we'll run, uh, we'll run Daily Tentacle. So hopefully you can hear that. Turn it up a bit. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne? So yeah, it seems to be working fine. Um, this this laptop's currently emulating um, a 10 MIPS um, Amiga, so the performance looks looks fine. Um, you will notice some funny colours sometimes. That's because it's doing um, like a, a palette remap from um, 256 colours to 64. Um, but yeah, so, um, the other thing I can show you, um, have a look at, uh, Simon the Sorcerer 2. Okay. 
So yeah, I skipped out. Uh, skipped over a few bits on that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, the performance is not too bad. So um, the other thing I'll show you is uh, in the ini file, um, you can actually control the palette update um, delay. So this basically puts a delay in um, for palette updates, um, as the name implies, um, that basically helps the performance a bit on uh, slower machines. Uh, I can find it. Where is it? Oh yeah, here. So yeah, so it's set to 3000. So obviously, you know, the, the higher that number is, uh, the, the longer it will take to do palette updates. Palette updates um, uh, are going to be very slow. So that's, that's the, the reason why this can be changed. So yeah, there you go. Enjoy.